even the situations that are being put, presented, the MSU, Oxford, all these issues that have happened, that the laws that they are being presented, the long string of them, still will not solve the problems that they believe, they perceive that this will solve. They're feeding you what the media wants you to hear. They're feeding you what the Democrats and the agenda want you to hear, but they're not telling you the truth. So when people really realize the truth, mm -hmm. see it and read it and hear it for themselves, then they're like, well, I'm, I don't support that. I can't get behind that. Well, that's when you have to get involved. Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm back in Lansing yet again, and I'm with two representatives this time, and both of them happen to be Jamie's. So. <laughs> High five. <laughs> And I would note, I like most of the Jamies in the Michigan House of Representatives. <laughs> so here we have Representative Jamie Green. Nice to meet you. How's it going? I'm fantastic. I represent Northern Macomb County, uh, the east side of Lapeer County, and the west side of Sinclair County. Awesome. And my representative in the 28th District, Jamie Thompson. Hi, guys. So I was here late the other night, and happy to see both of you voted no, but... Three separate bills, which was one package of the universal background checks, licensing, registration, did pass the House. Unfortunately, yes. And I saw that both of you voted no, and every single Republican voted no, which was good. It was very encouraging that our caucus held together. Yes. But I did see a couple other things that were a bit frustrating. They hold a two-seat majority. And... I've shown a video on this channel that a lot of you have seen. Representative Regas got to talk for about a minute and a half. She was shut down. Other people weren't given the opportunity to speak. What can we have as far as encouragement goes? All my viewers are watching, all of you Republicans, you freedom fighters, just getting like shut down, and it looks like they're passing these gun control bills within seconds on the floor. You want encouragement? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can give you much encouragement. I, the hope I can give you is... Right now, you have the Republican House members that are standing together because they realize that the bills that are being presented before us are do not actually solve the issues that they're complaining about, and it essentially uh, will punish or make it very difficult for citizens who are to legally and uh, good people to obtain uh, firearms. Just anybody who can, anybody should be able to obtain a firearm, but this will make it very difficult now. And they see that even the situations that are being put, presented, the MSU, Oxford, all these issues that have happened, that the laws that they are being presented, the long string of them, still will not solve the problems that they believe, they perceive that this will solve. I agree with you. Like by definition, these only affect the law abiding, right, Thompson? Because yes. criminals don't follow the laws. What's what's your thought on these extra burdens? What I think when you talk about encouragement, something that I don't normally see or I would not have seen as a voter, uh, when you come across committee hearings or you come across floor speeches or you actually watch the session, and I know it can be long, it can be eight, ten hours, you're doing a great job of taking those clips for viewers to see. I know when I, I was not present at the judiciary hearing where John Watt testified, mm -hmm. but I did follow back through because I follow Representative Andrew Fink, and he shared that committee hearing. So I think if we share as much as you can the knowledge and the truth with people and your community, and even if you know someone that affiliates with the other, a different party, or maybe they're not politically engaged at all, and they think that that's not happening, that's not possible. If you can share the truth over and over as much as you can with as many people as you can, and they see you have a gentleman, John Lott, who, like you said, he's like Thomas Jefferson in his knowledge, and he has accurate data that he served for the FBI in investigating numbers and data and the truth behind where crimes are committed, what the data shows, how we can change this, how we can effectively change even mental health in some regards. You have to see those and hear those testimonies. And then you have to share those with people and let them know they're feeding you what the media wants you to hear. They're feeding you what the Democrats and the agenda want you to hear, but they're not telling you the truth. So when people really realize the truth, mm -hmm. see it and read it and hear it for themselves, then they're like, well, I'm, I don't support that. I can't get behind that. Well, that's when you have to get involved and support a different candidate. Mm -hmm. um, the average voter doesn't see this. They don't know about this. 
they they hear headlines on a TV show or they hear what the the political person wants to tell them, you are doing us a great favor in, in service by what you do by educating your voter and then if they can share it and educate others. Get I, the I also out. want to just wait one note, just because your representative doesn't give a speech on the House floor doesn't mean that they don't support the position because sure. we are given a very limited so that's a, you may not know this, mm -hmm. but they're only allowing us a certain amount of floor speeches. So traditionally, you would think mm -hmm. that if you, said, I, if you stand I, up to a podium you and you raise your hand, you should be allowed to speak. That is not as what is happening. We have to give, we are given a limited amount of spots, and then we have to pick certain people to go into those spots. So you're about to watch Rep. Thompson seek recognition for an amendment, and then watch what happens next. Are there further amendments? There being no further amendments, the question for the House is concurring in the Senate substitute. Right. Speaker recognizes Representative Thompson. Thank you, Madam Speaker. My amendment would actually address the many resources that our residents across Michigan are losing out on right now. Representative, we're no longer speaking to amendments. Now you're gonna see Representative Green gavel down mid-speech. It is my number to think that we would give U.S. tax dollars to benefit a company connected to the Chinese Communist Party. A government that has committed to assisting Russia in their illegal occupation of Ukraine. Representative, please keep your comments to the amendment. Speaker recognizes Representative Green. This is truly a slap in the face to the hundreds and thousands of Michigan veterans who serve our country to fight against tyrannical communist rule. The Chinese government also has publicly supported efforts to steal intellectual property and engage in corporate espionage. The question for the House is the adoption of the amendment. The clerk will open the board. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up and that's why I'm trying to show some of the hearings on my channel lately because some people are starting to think, well, these Democrats, it happens to be party line right now, mm -hmm. these Democrats care more about this issue than the Republicans. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not true because not true. the Democrats control the gavel and the flow. So of the they floor. will get three times more floor speech coverage then we will. Okay, and that makes sense. Very yes, great. because I have not had the opportunity to speak on this yet on the yeah. House floor, and I probably won't. I'm going to try, but um, I am a supporter of the Constitution. I am a supporter of your rights to bear arms on on with anything, um, and I have not been able to speak on the floor. So I'm meeting with you so that folks can know that. I support our cause and support your rights, and but you may not necessarily see that, and then I it won't be picked up and in then the media as well. Sometimes with leadership, if the if the minority floor leader and the majority floor leader are working together, and the Republicans say we want to give our members the opportunity to speak on this, usually they may pick because I have not spoken on gun issues. I may or may not, even though I voted no, and I will always vote no because something that's important to me hasn't came up. So usually they might. This might be a a hot topic button for a rep and they they've only got three people that can give a speech they may just allow those three people to give it but now jane you're we're passionate about so many things right homeschooling yes. school of choice homeschooling um, so. protecting yeah. the pre-born uh protecting girls sports so there's we we have yeah. to kind of pick and choose the things sometimes that we can speak about um yeah i'm focusing primarily on the second amendment and what i want to remind everybody is these reps like the two Jamies here and a lot of the freedom fighters <laughs> need your support. Like I'm walking into offices right now where they're like, you're the only constituent that's even come in here, like in two months talking about this. And if you look at the Declaration of Independence, which is my favorite founding document, Thomas Jefferson essentially said the only reason the government would be allowed to exist at all is to protect your natural rights. Mm -hmm. And that the government would only be able to operate at the consent of the governed so right now there's a two seat majority, it appears so far of gun grabbers and Lansing in the house versus you guys. And I think that's time for the people to go over the heads of these politicians and for the people to start getting more involved in this process. 
Um, what do you think about that? Um, so define what do you mean go above us? So what do you mean? Meaning letting our voices be heard, backing good people like oh, you yes. that are defending the Second Amendment, and then holding the ones accountable that are trying to take our guns in the court of public opinion. Yes. Well, actually, yeah, we, we need support. We need encouragement. Um, and of course, then we need to uh, strengthen, keep encouraging the caucus. Congratulate. I mean, I'm so proud of us that we've held together. That was, I did not think that was going to happen. And, and I think those who were barely hanging on for dear life need to be encouraged to that. Thank you. Like a thank you does go a long way too. Mm -hmm. So when people are calling these, um, we're just going to call them anti-gunners for lack of a better word. It shouldn't be a partisan issue, but right this minute it happens to be in Lansing. They're calling these reps and they're just literally not even talking to them at all. They're saying, we just, we want to pass all of this. I'm thinking some positive energy might be people right now trying to get behind people like you and that are, what do you think about that? I agree. And my door, I don't want to say my door is always open. I shouldn't say that because people... My door is always open to the extent that I will meet with anyone. Mm -hmm. I will return any email and phone call. And I know I, I met a gentleman in our district who actually came from a different city because his Democrat representative has not responded to him with his yeah. concerns related to these bills. So you are, it's unfortunate that that would happen um, because even if I don't agree, to, if I disagree with you, I'm still open to having a conversation with you because I mm -hmm. have to represent you as well. So know that you can reach out to any one of us and, and we will be a sounding board for you and we will do anything that we can to help you. Um, also yeah. know though, I have a stack of support for me um, to vote no, but it's this high and I, I, you can email me of course, but right now I'm not gonna be able to get to every single one of them. And yeah. So I always encourage you yeah. to watch our votes, watch to see what happens, watch that carefully. There's a lot of nuances and there's a bunch of different conservative organizations that will, that will explain those votes outside of, of course, what Micah does too. So mm -hmm. just keep, you know, track those um, and encourage when encouragement needs to happen, but also then raise raise the flag, the red flag, like, hey, you better watch what's happening too. So I actually talked with these representatives for almost a half hour, and you'll see the rest of our conversation soon. Let me know down in the comments if you want me to do more videos like this and keep you guys up to date with what's going on in Lansing. All right. Thanks for watching and have a good one.